I got you. Mr. Newman, do you stand by your statement that you forged Victor Newman's signature on the trust upon which this lawsuit is based? Yes, Your Honor. You realize you are confessing to a crime. Yes. He's lying. My father drew up those trusts and signed them. Your Honor, my client did draw up the original trust. But as he explained, when Adam was in control of the Newman estate, he rewrote the trust, falsifying his father's signature on the new documents. Why didn't Dad mention this before we filed the suit? Because he just came up with it, Dad. Your Honor, uh, my client had just suffered the traumatic loss of his wife before resuming control of his company. During his absence, Newman Enterprises had suffered tremendous upheaval. My client is still trying to sort out all the things his son did while he was in charge. The fact that this forgery went undetected is completely understandable. This is outrageous. Oh, you can't let him get away with this. Oh, what, so we're going to get nothing? All of you sit down. Him against all of you are about to be in contempt. Bastards and you deserve Quiet. each other. Ridiculous. I want order clearly lying. in this room. Everyone sit down. The next person who speaks without permission will be cited for contempt. Mr. Baldwin, do you have proof of what your witness is saying? Yes, Your Honor. I have the original document signed by Victor Newman. Your Honor, this claim should be dismissed for what it is, a last-minute stunt to stop you from ruling in my client's favor. That may be, Ms. Michelson, but it is a matter that warrants further investigation, not only in my opinion, but according to the law. You are seriously giving weight to the word of this convicted felon. Mr. Newman, you and your sisters are suing your father for $3 billion. I am not about to render a decision without thoroughly investigating every bit of information that's brought to light. Your brother... Half-brother. ...has just confessed to a crime. That is a very serious matter, whether it's the truth or not. And Mr. Newman... Believe me, I will find out. Baldwin, you may be seated. Counselor, I will allow these new documents to be entered into evidence. The signatures on them will be compared to the ones on the trust originally submitted. Adam Newman, We'll provide a sample of his handwriting, also for comparison purposes. I'd like our own forensic handwriting expert to analyze the signatures as well, Your Honor. Fine. Adam Newman will also give a full and truthful deposition by the end of business tomorrow. And, Mr. Newman, if you are lying, you will be prosecuted. Is that understood? Yes, Your Honor, it's understood. Very well. We are adjourned. Sorry, what the hell just happened? Well, Dad convinced Adam to lie for him. That's what happened. So, what did he promise you? Did he promise you a piece of his company? Maybe a place in his heart? Well, don't count on getting it, because when he's through with you, he's just going to toss you aside, too. Dad and I have a different relationship than the three of you do. You're right. We actually meant something to him. Imagine what he's going to do to you. Check on that handwriting expert. Okay? Yeah. All right. Victor, what did you offer to do for Sharon in exchange for Adam's testimony? Wait, what is she talking about? Uh, coffee's on Victor. me. Come on. As we go. Oh, let's go. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. Let's go. Let's just talk about it there. I can't now. I have some things I have to do. Adam, don't do this. Sure, it'll be okay. 
I'll explain later. You can. You know, I wanted to settle this, to end it, but you turned me down. I knew you were up to something, but I never thought you would stoop this low. Don't know me that well, do you? I don't know you at all. You brought this on yourselves. No, you did. You forced us out of your life, because no matter what happens after this, I'm done with you. We all are done. Come on, son. One thing Dad could have used to get Adam to lie for him, and that's Sharon. Well, what if the judge believes Adam? Or, or, or what if these handwriting experts say that he really did forge our trusts? That will not be good for us. Well, that, that won't be good? That won't be good? We would lose! Abby. Oh, don't. Don't. Don't talk to me like I am a kid. We are going to lose this lawsuit, and I am going to end up with nothing. Admit it. It's possible. All of the settlements that Dad wanted me to take. I mean, he, he was offering me twice what I was originally asking for, and not even the money. He wanted to make peace. He wanted to have a real relationship with me. Right now, I could have my trust fund and a relationship with my dad, but I have nothing because I listened to you. And Uncle Jack, and Vance, and Leslie, and I listen to everybody except for myself. Hey, listen. I know you're hurt, okay? Nick and I, we're really upset about this, too. Dad used Adam to win the suit, and you used me. What's the difference? Ab Abby. You know Adam's lying. Oh, can I get you anything? Coffee, a drink? If I mix alcohol with anything right now, I'm liable to hurt someone. This is such a huge mess. I feel like I'm partly responsible. You know, if you want to play the blame game, let's do that. Let's start at the top. Dad, Adam, hell, I could even throw Sharon into the mix. It doesn't matter who's responsible, at least not to the people who lost their jobs because of this fallout from the lawsuit. You know, I ran into one of them today. She had her little boy with her. I never meant for this to happen. And Abby, did you see her face? The poor kid, she just wants her dad to love her. Good luck with that. I know. I should call her. Check on her, make sure she's OK. Abby, hi, it's Victoria. Um, I'm sorry about what happened today. Call me, all right? Do you think we made a mistake going up against Dad? Big Dad has lied to us and used us and manipulated us since the day we were born. We finally get sick of it and stand up for ourselves. We, weren't, we didn't make a mistake. We're just surviving. I'm not giving up, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> OK. All right. So what next? Well, first, we should probably wait till we hear from Leslie. Or I could just go and beat the crap out of Adam. If I come in? Uh, no. Come on in. Did Adam send you? K-1. 
came here to apologize for my part in this. Dad sending you to do Adam's dirty work? I came to tell you that I don't agree with what Adam's doing, and I'm going to do everything I can to stop him. Why? Because it's right for everybody. Dad's not going to like you interfering. I know. I have to go. I know you're worried that Victor may have won, but this isn't over. Abby. Hey. Hi. Hi. A gift for my goddaughter. Another one? My not-so-subtle way of finding out if you still want me to be the godmother. Of course I do. I couldn't help but think of what Dad said, and that you only picked me to help you win the lawsuit. You are Lucy's godmother, no matter what happens with the suit. Dad was just doing a number on your head, and it won't be the last time. Just keep hoping he'll change. He won't. But you know what? Neither will we. And you'll always be our sister, no matter what happens with the suit or in the future. We're a family, all right? You better get used to it. Well, then in that case, I will totally help you plan Lucy's christening. Well, I will. I have so many ideas. Thank you. <laughs> I have no ideas. He never yeah. does. Hey, why don't we do it over a family dinner? Are you up for a family dinner? On one condition. No okay. lawsuit talk. Oh, deal. Deal. Yeah, deal. <laughs> Easy. I'll open this at dinner. Just give me the quarterly reports, all right? Continue production. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I called ahead, so we have a table. Oh, there it is. Well, sis has got pull and all the hot spots. Oh, well, I am the naked heiress. Well, just so long as you keep your clothes on tonight. Yeah. Ugh, you guys are so boring. They are boring. <laughs> Very boring and old.